put these through again. We'll pour the, this first round into the hopper again. And then we'll adjust our wheel here uh, for a tighter grind. And then and get it to a finer consistency. So what we'll do is we will tighten this down. You gotta experiment with it. Tighten this down and now we will go again and get this to a finer grain. Okay, now we'll go the second time through. Now the wheel is a lot tighter. So it's gonna be coming out finer. guys will look at how much finer this second time around goes. We'll finish this batch and then we'll put it through for the third time. This is the second time around we're putting the grain through or the wheat through. To get a shot in here this is what it looks like after the first time through. We showed you what it looked like to start. And now this is the second time through coming out of the into the pan. So this is what we have now. And this will go through the third time to make it ready for making bread. You can still make a good cereal with this. Hot cereal and some other baking. But we're going to get it to a, a fine ground and show you how this um, Molino grinder works. Okay, so I don't have it 100% bolted correctly to this table, but we're going to get going. Notice the wheat coming out. And I just adjusted that handle a little tighter, and it makes the grind a little finer. And we'll do that a third time. Put this wheat through and get it ready for a loaf of bread. Again, it does take some effort, but when you don't have power, this is the best thing to do. And this has been used all over the world, especially in Colombia, Latin America, Mexico. Uh, you'll also build some muscle. So it's a good thing, you'll be getting in shape. Okay, this batch is almost done through. Get a shot through the top here. You can see it getting down to the to the end. And then I'll put it through for the third time. Okay, we're gonna put it through again. Okay, I just adjusted my end. These have to be adjusted evenly, these two wing nuts. And then I adjusted my tension on the outside wheel to press harder against the stationary wheel. And now we'll go through for the third time. You can see how it comes out a little finer this time. Again, this is hard white wheat that we're doing. This is from our food storage, the number 10 can. Everyone should be storing wheat in some shape or form. Hard red, hard red, hard white are the two most common because there's so much you could do with them. And they're such a staple and they have such a long shelf life in the in the solid form. Again, this is just another prep that you should have. It's a must prep. And it can end up saving you and your family in the time of 
crisis or a time of a grid down uh, situation. Okay? Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Send me your questions and comments. Again, this is the uh, hard white wheat and the Molino grinder.